guys, so before I start the video, I just want to say I'm sorry. I know you guys have been wanting manifest videos, and please believe me when I say that I filmed and edited this video, or my editor edited this video, but it was corrupted, and I lost the file, and round two, here we go again. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, because this is like my third time trying to record this video, so give it a like, <laughs> that's great. Um... But a lot of you guys who have been on my channel for a long time started watching my channel because of my Once Upon a Time videos. If you don't know what Once Upon a Time is, we have a problem. Um, no. But Once Upon a Time was the show that really brought my channel into wh whatever it is now. Um, and because of that, a lot of you guys watch the show Manifest because the same actor, one of the same actors who was in Once Upon a Time is now in Manifest. So a lot of my fans now watch Manifest because they used to watch Once Upon a Time. Yeah. Um, so you guys have been asking me and asking me and asking me and asking me and asking me to do a Manifest video. Here you go. So in today's video, I've compiled five of the best ideas I can come up with to make Season 2 of Manifest, which premieres this fall, one of the best seasons of TV history because let's do this. I have seen TV shows fail because of horrible writing and I've seen them succeed. So without further ado, let's get into the video because why not? So um, the number or number five is they have to have, in my opinion anyway, they have to come up with more storylines that really include more of the minor characters like you have Cal you have um you have all of you have Grace you have Ben you have Michaela and you have Jared and now you have Zeke um but they're forgetting a lot of the minor characters such as Autumn such as um such as um Captain Daly such as now I'm gonna get to him in a second such as um Professor Clark or whatever her last name is and they need to bring those storylines back. Now, the reason I'm saying that goes along with my next point, and that is we need to find out what happened to Captain Daly and Fiona. If we don't find that out in season two, I'm going to cry. Um, what happened to them? Where they go? Are they dead? Who knows? Who, who really knows? I don't. If you have any theories, let me know down in the comment section down below. Did they fly into the future? I don't know. Did they die? I don't know. So, the next is, along with the other two points, are they, we need to find out what happened to Autumn and her daughter. That storyline can't be finished. Hi, um, who is her daughter? What has she been doing? Like, how's their relationship? It's all fine. It's okay. So, they need to come up, they need to, they need to start creating they need to, okay, I need to word that better. They need to stop creating more storylines and go back to storylines that they've already, like, opened up, but they've left alone for the second half of season one, which, that really irritates people when TV shows do that. Cough, cough, once but a time. Cough, cough, yeah. Um, so the next one is they need to get rid of the love triangles. No one likes them. It's, uh, it's between... Grace, Danny, and Ben, and Zeke, Jared, and Michaela. Hashtag, if Jared, not hashtag, if Jared and Michaela don't end up, end up together, I'm starting an online petition. There's that. So, they need to get back. Need that, bah, 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 bah. They need to get, I can promise I can speak English. They need to get back together. I'm not, like, I like Zeke as a character. I just don't think he's like Michaela. I think they're better off as friends. Um, it just... And also, I cannot stand the Grace, Ben, and Danny. No, we're not doing that, okay? Here's why. First of all, I only watch the show because of Josh Dallas. So if his character's not happy in the show, I'm not going to be happy, along with a lot of Once Upon a Time fans. So they need to get rid of that, like, yesterday. So. Oh my gosh, I hate when shows do this. They're like, this will be fun. Everyone loves, like, love triangles. But, but no. No one does. No one does. It, it, it's okay for a first couple of episodes, but then at the end, everyone's like, okay, just pick who you want to be with. Yeah. 
it just gets really annoying. But like I said, if Jared and Michaela don't end up together, I'm going to actually start an online petition and tag the actors and the creator. Yeah. Um, the next thing is they also need to figure out what is on the go with Zeke. Well, they don't need to figure it out. They just need to tell us, like, what is he? Why did he come back? Why? I know that's the entire premise of the show, but I just, I want to know what happened with him and his family. We need more flashbacks of before the lightning and plane disappearance and all that kind of stuff. Um... Like, why was he like, no, I brought, like, shame to my family. Like, I don't want to see them. They're not going to want to see me. My mom's not going to want to see me. Like, okay. Um, I think a mom always wants to see her child, but we shall see, apparently. We need more flashbacks. If we don't get more flashbacks of Zeke, yeah, just please, like, smart writing is needed. They have a great show here, but they had the chance to either make it a success or butcher it with season two. So I'm praying they don't do what Stranger Things did and completely ruin the show. Um, the next is I. Okay, this is a this is a comment that's going to be divided. So let me know down in the comment section below what you think. I ship Ben and Sonny more than I do Ben and Grace. The actor who plays Grace, Athena, or yeah, that's how you say her last or her name. Um, I just don't think her and Josh Giles has chemistry at all, and there is a certain amount of chemistry that is needed to play a husband and wife on TV. It's just, it's necessary. Now, I'm kind of, Josh Dallas acted with his actual wife in real life, being Jennifer Goodwin, in seasons one through seven of Once Upon a Time, so, I mean, you're asking him to act with someone who's not his wife after acting with someone who is his actual wife in real life that he actually loves. So I understand that there's going to be, like, less chemistry than there was with um, Ben and Grace as there was between Snow White and Prince Charming because, yeah. But I just think they have no chemistry whatsoever. Also, I don't like Grace's character at all. She irritates me in ways I can't explain. She's just always like, you need to tell me you are protecting our family. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you need to stop. <laughs> like, I was watching the show with my dad. And even he was like, man, like, does she not know that, he, that Ben's protecting the family? I was like, thank you, dad. I love you. So her character just needs to stop. Let me know if you ship Ben and Zombie or Ben and Grace down in the comment section down below. Feel free to discuss it with other people in the comment section. I love having a conversation. So there's that. And the last point I want to make is they need to explain why Griffin died. Now, they explained the expiration dates, I know, but why? Why are they a thing? Why are they going to die? What happened? What happened to their brain? Why are they still alive? What happened to them? Where'd they go? I don't know. And that's basically all I can come up with for the top five or top five ideas for Manifest Season 2. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. I'm sorry if I'm excited. I've had a lot of coffee today and I'm very hyper. But we are so close to 10,000 subscribers. Well, sort of. We are so close to 8,000 subscribers more specifically. But my goal is to hit 10,000 before the end of 2019. So if you guys have watched my videos before but aren't subscribed, do yourself a favor. Bring happiness to your life, but also mine at the same time, and go down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you are a Manifest fan, Heartland fan, Fuller House fan, Glitch fan, once but a time, all of the above, or just one, this channel is definitely for you. I will see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment, leave a like, share with your friends, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.